Hey Dokkan community, it's DD Forte, and today I want to talk about the upcoming banner that's coming out, which is going to be uh, on the global side of me. It's going to be this new Frieza right here. Um, I want to talk about whether or not it's worth it to spend your stones on it. Uh, now, I'm a free-to-play player, so that's why I want to make this video to let other players out there who might be free-to-play or maybe they're just spending a little bit of money to let them know whether or not it's worth it to summon on this upcoming banner. So let, let's take a look at the banner real quick. Now these are not bad units by any means. Now the Frieza is obviously good. We'll go over what he does in a little bit. Beerus is fantastic. The Ele this, this Goku right here is pretty meh. You know, I mean he can, he hits hard, but uh, nothing super amazing like Beerus hits way harder right off the get-go, but this Goku right here needs to ramp up. So, you know, I'm not a huge fan of this Goku here. Cooler's absolutely fantastic, one of the best TURs in the game. Super Saiyan Goku's good. Uh, this uh, transforming tech Frieza is... He's been on so many, like, different banners, but... I mean, he's still a good unit. I mean, it's just kind of a waste that he's on here. And then we have this... La uh, in the last slot, we have this Int... Uh, golden Frieza. Now, are they going to change anything on the banner? Um, I honestly don't think so for global. I think there, I think there's a good chance that they'll just keep everything the same. There's nothing here that's like uh, super new at this point. So, um, is it worth summoning? Uh, I let's take a look at the Frieza first. Okay, so leader, uh, resurrected warrior, or other. World Warriors, category key plus 4, HP attack, defense plus 150. The key plus 4 is fantastic because because um, this Frieza has uh, 150 across the board. Um, typically, you know, uh, LR units like, I don't know, um, uh, LR Rosé, right? He's Future Saga category, key plus 4, HP attack, defense plus 130, right? So leader ability is really, really good. Uh, this guy stacks defense. Uh, and has immense damage and seal super attack. So stacking defense is always good for long events. You know whether it's uh, the LR, the legendary Goku event, or whether it's uh, you know um, infinite history. You know those events. Stacking defense is good. Attack defense plus one hundred percent unconditional. That's fantastic. Uh, plus an additional attack. Uh, plus an addition. Additional attack and defense plus 50% for 5 turns. Medium chance to dodge. Uh, including super attacks uh, within the same turn for receiving an attack. Which is great. So after 5 turns you just need to get hit again to get the buff again. right? It's kind of like uh, Intelligence Janemba. Where if Janemba gets hit once he'll get, I think, I forget, like 70% attack for 4 turns or something like that. I don't remember the exact number. And then... Last part of his passive is uh, attacked, attacked enemies, attack down, minus 30% for two turns. Really, really good um, for, uh, like, um, Super Battle Road. But for most Dokkan events, the last stage, typically the boss can't be attacked down. And honestly, I think this at this point, any unit they release is pretty much overkill for any standard Dokkan events with Link level ups and whatnot. Uh, transform can be activated only uh, entering attack upon entering attacking turn once only. Okay, so very good unit. Uh, so let's go to his golden angel form. Uh, leader skill doesn't change, obviously. He loses some defense because he can't stack defense anymore. Uh, attack defense 120 uh, plus attack defense plus 80%. And a great chance to stun when performing a super attack. Once again, not really going to be useful for really long events where after like the third phase, um, they can't be stunned anyways. But for super battle run, it's still really good. And reduces damage by 50% when HP is 49% or less. Uh, so this follows the trend, like the universe survival saga uh, characters, where they have this trend where the lower HP they have, the stronger their abilities uh, they become. Right, like for example, Intelligence UI Goku transforms when his HP is below 50%. Uh, the MVP 17 
gets a damage reduction when his HP falls below, what is it, like 70%, I think? But anyways, um, I think this unit is good. I think it's fine. Uh, as a free-to-play player, uh, I, pro I personally wouldn't be summoning on this, especially since most likely uh, you would have summoned, uh, spent your stones, where is it? Uh, summoning on the, the New Year's banner to guarantee yourself an LR, because... Honestly, like uh, the this these step up banners, like for two hundred stones, you get a bunch of like leaders, um, category leaders. You get and you can get a uh, LR unit, and you can do it three times. So honestly, I w I would rather I'm I'm gonna be spending my stones on this banner instead, and then uh, in term and because I'm a global player, I I know what to save for. They'll be coming out in the future. For example, I'm probably going to be saving for this Gogeta. The Intelligence Gogeta right here. Because he's super broken. Super powerful. Uh, definitely want that. And then uh, the latest banners that just dropped. The PyCon and Janemba. Those two banners are absolutely going to like phenomenal. Especially since like uh, the LR Blue Fusions are on there. I mean... You can even get the LR, uh, Super Saiyan, Transforming, Vegito, and Gogeta. They're on there as well. So I'd rather save my stones for that. Uh, so at the end of the day, um, if you want to summon on this banner, I won't fault you. Because there are a lot of good units on this banner. Like I said, the Freeze is good. Beerus is good. Cooler, etc. Uh, but if you want to maximize like the power of your... It, power of your account with the stones that you have or that you get for free I would highly recommend saving your stones for either like I said either for this Gogeta right here where'd it go there it is this Gogeta or just wait and save up for Janemba and PyCon anyways that's what I think about the the upcoming banner like I said it'll be out in about 24 hours so it will be here pretty quick Anyways, that's it from me. Have a great day, guys. Bye.